Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're making roasted chestnuts. And what you need for it, and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now obviously we need chestnuts. And as you can tell, these are slightly larger, these are slightly smaller. Now the difference is, these are wild ones that we found in the woods when we went uh, walking with the kids. And these are actually edible ones that you can buy in the grocery store. Now you can buy them whole, so that means with the shell, or you can buy them already pre-cooked, but obviously as we want to do it ourselves, um, I opted for the raw ones. Now with these, they are lovely, they're nice, but as I said, you shouldn't really eat them. But what they're good for, you can make little stick figurines with your children. So uh, this is what we did, you know, this is a little horse. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can leave this up to your imagination, you can use this for decoration, but as I said, we don't eat that. Now in the first step what you want to do is you want to wash them with warm water and then what we're going to use is a bread knife because of the serrated edge it just makes it a lot easier to cut into the shell of um, the chestnuts. So obviously a chestnut has usually a flatter side and kind of like a, a, a rounder side so what you want to do is you want to place it on the flatter side and then you want to cut into the skin of the chestnut not too deep I basically just make a tiny little cut into it so that when we heat it up it kind of can break open and you can peel it. So I'm going to finish this up now, I'm going to show you the next step. Alright, all cut up, so in the end what I actually decided to do is basically do a cross um, across the, the, the top part of the chestnut uh, in the hopes that it will peel back easier. And in the next step what we're going to do is we're going to water them. Now depending on how soft they already are, you can water them anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. So 20 minutes if they, the shell is a bit soft. If the shell is really hard, you can water it for 30 minutes. And what you want to do is you want to use lukewarm water to do that. So, so don't boil it. Um, well, you can obviously, but let it cool down to about lukewarm. And then we're just going to leave them in there. I think this time around for about 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes are up. I've already drained the water. I got myself some help. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place them with the flat side down onto this, uh, yeah, the baking paper or the, the butcher's paper. And um, then we're going to let them dry off a little bit and then they're going to go onto the barbecue and the barbecue sits at about 230 degrees Celsius. And then I'll see you outside. The barbecue is sitting at 230 degrees and we're going to put them in. And we're going to leave them in until they've popped open, which is roughly 25 minutes. 25 minutes are up, let's have a look. And look how gorgeous they've popped open. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take them inside, we're going to peel some, eat some immediately and we're going to peel the rest and um, we're going to use them later on in a deer stew. Right, I let them cool down for about 4 minutes and let me just show you really quickly why it's good you know to to make that little cross on the top because they're super easy to peel and this is what the final product looks like all right guys that's it for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video about the roasted chestnuts now uh they're super quick and easy to make um and as i said you know they they fit perfectly well to like game stews or any kind of wintry dish uh, so yeah, if you have a chance, go try it, check it out. Um, now what you can also do, if you don't have a barbecue the size that you need, you can stick them in the oven, same temperature, same time frame, so it'll work perfectly fine. Now if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.